Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Soviet Lunar Park. Now, this was the game that came out before... Uh, what's the game that they're coming out with now? Atomic Heart, that's it. The game that's been in development for how long? The, you know, the Russians with the crazy science and all that. Well, this is what that is. Oh, that's why my hands disappear, okay. Yay. Can I... Okay. But yeah, if any of this looks familiar, I mean, you got that little robot dude with the saw blade. Got a few dead Soviets over here. I'm on a wall. I'm assuming that's a Soviet submarine. That's very strange. Got a disabled robot. I forgot how all this works. But this is basically Soviet zombies. Or it will be in a second if I figure out where to go from here. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Oh. There we go. Okay, so then we're gonna... Come here and hold trigger, okay? Now, I bought this game for about 15 bucks when it first came out. Um... How do I activate? Use button to activate. Oh. That's what I had to do. As you can see, Soviet zombies. Did I win? Okay. Use your ability weapon. Each character has a unique weapon. Okay. Oh, uh, you can charge your shield and prefer my Okay. Is this charging? Okay. Okay, so there's our zombies. Everything's loading in slowly and figuring out what it wants to do. I want to just check graphics. Can I check graphics? I don't even know if I can check graphics. Oh! There we go. It didn't really make it look any better. It still looks blurry and bleh. Story level's coming soon. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! This game got taken off the Steam page. Story level's coming soon. Yeah. Sure. That's. I'm kind of reluctant to play this game. Mostly because I wanted to show this off. As like a, hey, this was a thing that Munfish did. You know, before said... You know, Soviet game that was coming out. So we've got that. We've got those. But yeah, if you're looking around and you're like, hey, isn't this that Atomic Heart game? Yeah, this is basically Atomic Heart VR. I don't know if this was the original concept for Atomic Heart or anything. I don't really know what Munfish was going for. But yeah, no, 100%. Like, you can look at some of the things here and remember. Like, that's. If I remember correctly, I think that was in the, one of the trailers. Yeah, this little saw blade dude, which I don't know if he's a problem or not. Hi. Okay, he doesn't care about me. You've got these, uh... Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 this thing. Yeah, Nazi whack-a-mole. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nothing laughing at me? I might have to cut out the various dolls that I saw before. Okay. Okay, I'm good enough. Get, get, get my, screw this. Okay, it leaves your hand after a while. Alright, so enough of the formalities. Let's go ahead and get to some zombies. Okay, so, mission run. Showroom, arcade. First location where the guests of Enterprise number 3826 are introduced to the latest machines and top-notch technologies and innovations developed in the facility. Let's go.
Oh, right, here we go. So I'm playing as the lieutenant, I think, and he his ability slows down time or what have you. Okay, so where are the zombies? Welcome to the showroom of the facility 3826. This facility is the industrial front line of the Soviet defense sector. Laborers from all over USSR are creating technical wonders for the good of the Soviet people. It is strictly forbidden to carry firearms to the facility. Too late! Bombs. Only security personnel in the third department have access to the Model Joseph 37 pistol and other firearms. To start the demonstration process of the Engineer 112 automaton in action, press the highlighted button nearest to you. Oh, okay. Engineer 112 is the best example of a domestic machine that would help every Soviet citizen on a daily basis. It has many uses in a household, including taking look. over all of the chores of a regular oh. working class man and his family. In order to well, activate the okay. demonstration process of the Cutter 21 automaton, press the nearest highlighted button. I'm assuming that button. Cutter 21 is the only mechanical helper every woodworker would ever need. Its blade can process over 3,000 cubic meters of wood per hour. I mean, that's one way to get rid of a body. Seems like the Soviets still have a few things to uh, iron out. Alert. Weapon detected in the showroom. Alert. Weapon Can I progress over here or no? Alert. Weapon detected in the showroom. Inner doors to showroom are open. Second, security units are ready. Yeah, so there, far as I'm aware, there's no way to actually, you know, slip, you know, slip around the map. How do I reload? Oh, that's how I reload. Oh, that's how you slow down. Okay, I thought I just, you know. Okay, reload, 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 reload. Oh, hi! See, honestly, this game could have been something cool if Munfish didn't can it. I don't know why they dropped it, to be honest with you. Oh, what the hell? We have kamikaze zombies now. Okay, cool. Or kamikaze Soviets. Crap. Hey, can you, like, not? Well, let's try to get them in a group together. Is there any other ammo? Okay. Did I win? Wait, even like how the robot's like just still waiting. Four, three, two, one. Oh, there's more. I was kind of hoping that was the end. Of course not. Oh crap. And if you're wondering, hey Nick, isn't this like Call of Duty zombies? Like why, uh, you know, why aren't you moving, bud? Uh, that's because that's all there really is to this. Oh my god, reload. Mm. 
Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap. We're gonna run over here, dip around there. You know 100% there's a zombie behind me. Huh, surprisingly not. Okay, so this is gonna buy me like a solid second or two. I just need like more ammo. Beautiful. So I would say, honestly, this game was being made to kind of hint at what was to be expected for Atomic Heart, but not necessarily the same game, you know what I mean? Like, hey, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to see in the game, but you're not going to see zombies. Like, yeah, we, we, we might, oh, actually, no, they might actually have zombies, I'm not entirely certain of that. I know we're going to be fighting robots and what have you. I don't know if we're going to be fighting zombies, to be perfectly honest. I can't grab the ammo, that's nonsense. Security system is going to take a minute to get security up and start the next wave. So I figured, let me reload the gun now. Oh, wait, never mind. It's over. All right. Mission two. Sunken storage. A storage located right under the showroom is used to contain toxic waste and the failed experiments in its walls. As the result of a recent accident, some pipes have exploded and started flooding the storage. Let's go do it. Now, if I remember correctly, if memory serves me correctly, this game was made and released in 2018. Uh, I, that's when I bought it, so I don't remember when they canned this game, and to be perfectly honest with you, I attempted to refund the game maybe about a year ago, to be like, hey, they took it off Steam, and there's no support for it, can I get a refund? Steam was like, ha, sucks to be you. Now, if you're wondering, hey, Nick, you know, don't don't you need like to have like under two hours of gameplay in order to refund a game? Yes, you do. And I have only 60 minutes of gameplay. That's how short this game is, that you can beat it in an hour. Look at that guy. Oh, he can't do anything with him. He doesn't really know that he's flooding right now. Uh, how am I supposed to do this exactly? Am I supposed to use my tool or something? Okay. Uh, I hear groaning and moaning, and moans and groans. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Oh, this thing. Am I turning it the wrong way? Maybe. No. I mean, I hear something. How is there water? What? What? How is the? What the? This is what happens when you deal with the occult. Oh. Okay, here we go. Drain valve activated. Three more valves remaining. Cool. Yeah, you know, just in case since I have to search stuff for these, let me do the semi smart thing and actually look in places where it might be hidden, like right here. And then what I'll do is I'll turn off the valves and hopefully the zombie horde doesn't come at a time when I really don't want them to and, you know, devour my butthole. What? Okay, so I guess that's done, and then... Drain valve activated. One more valve remaining. Uh... Oh! Huh. Oh, I think I'm... 
I think this is starting to flood a bit. Um, hmm, this is becoming a problem. Excuse you, I'd like to get this valve. No, I want the... Thank you. Ah. And then... All drain valves activated. Draining of the bio waste started. Security system has detected the threat. Security units were sent to engage. Oh, fun. <laughs> Where do these bad dudes keep getting these, uh, you know, explosive barrels? C can you, like, not? And these are security units? They don't, they don't look very secure. Okay. I shot behind me because I thought there might be one behind me. Can I whack them? Yeah, you can. Neat. Okay, that's kind of ahead of its time. I don't remember 2018 having games like that where you can just whack the dead and what have you. I mean, this game isn't bad for what it is. Underdeveloped, sure, you could say that. But it's not a bad game. It's just, it's disappointing that Munfish went ahead and abandoned it. Zombies also don't do that much damage when you're by yourself. And then other than moving, like, you know, trying to get away from the zombies, there's really not a whole lot of reason to, you know, move. Like, if you find one comfortable place to kind of keep your back, unless you have to move for ammo, like, in that case. I think teleportation, I think that could have been patched down a little bit. Oh! Easy enough. So now we just gotta wait for another horde to show up. Trespassers in the reserves who are cool. Security units are on their way. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, this is the game itself. Like, there's, there's really not much more to it. Maybe get a little objectives here and there. You fight some zombies. And I know we fight a robot that shoots lasers from its nipples. That's about, that's about it. That's that's this game. Um, you would expect, you know, what we saw from the trailers for uh, Atomic Heart, but instead what we get is... Soviet zombies, which, honestly, I bought this because I was actually kind of cool, like, at the time, we didn't have Pavlov, we didn't have, you know, zo zombies in Call, you know, we didn't have Call of Duty zombies in VR, so, can you imagine what this game was like, in a game like this, or seeing videos on YouTube, or not even YouTube, um, on, like, the Steam store page, right, seeing clips on the Steam store page, right, imagine this. You could play Call of Duty Zombies in VR. Not made by Call of Duty, but that's basically what it is. And it was only like 15 bucks. And you could play online with your friends. How awesome is that, right? And that was the thought that I had when I saw this. And I was thinking, oh, cool. And then I found out there was only like four missions, and that was really it. And I think they only added like a survival mode where it was like, survive in waves as long as you can. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, even this is pretty wild that you can whack the zombies like, and it reacts. It's not very reactive. Like, the game is okay with that, but... Oh, okay, that's the end. There you go. Let's move on to the next one. Hey, lads. So, future Nick here once again to do a little editing ahead of time. So, during this video, I talk about a link that would have given you a free copy of Atomic Heart, and I wasn't sure if this had something to do with the game being taken down or whatnot, but... I wanted to clarify that now ahead of time at the beginning of the video, so here it is. There is a Steam post actually dropped by the developers, they themselves, under the game's discussion. It wasn't on the description of the game, it was actually on the discussions. And it states as followed. Digital download edition of Atomic Heart for free. Dear Soviet Luna Park VR users, we understand that you're disappointed with the discontinuation of support for Soviet Luna VR Park. Please note that we have to do it. 
So we can focus on the development of Atomic Heart. To compensate for such inconvenience, we are giving you a download edition of Atomic Heart for free. Or you can use this promo code to get a discount for any other edition of Atomic Heart. To get your promo code, you need to look for our profile, Mundfish SVLPK, and there's a Steam link, on Steam, and send us a friend request there. Make sure you do it with a Steam profile on which you have purchased Soviet Luna Park. Once we double check that your Steam profile is appropriate for compensation, we will send you a promo code via private messages on Steam. Please note that we process all requests manually. Promo codes will be given only to owners of Soviet Luna Park VR. Our team will be sending codes from January 9th to February 28th, 2019. So hurry up and make sure you reach us in time. All the best, Team Munfish. And this was last edited March 5th of 2019 at 8.50 a.m. The original post was January 9th, 2019 at 8.10 a.m. So three months later, they edited it somehow. Or they did edit I don't know why. Now, some comments are saying that uh, people were disappointed. Um, some of the things in discussion were people saying that uh, they, you know, about the key, but never getting a response. So, I don't really know what happened with that. I don't know if anybody actually got keys from them, whether it's for a free copy of uh, Atomic Heart. Or I don't really know. Um, if anybody knows what happened with this, please feel free to tell me in the comment section. But if anything, what I'm also going to do so that way you guys can see the discussions, I'm probably going to link the store page of Soviet Luna Park so that way you guys can look for yourselves. Because I think, maybe I'm wrong. No, you can still view discussions. Yeah, no, you can absolutely view it. So even if you don't own this game, you should be able to view discussions. But yeah, that's essentially what I was trying to talk about, that there was something that they were giving the game away for free. I tried to go through it and I never got anything. Uh, I remember I had to follow a link, and it just felt shady to me, so I didn't do it. With that said, let's get to the video. Mission 3, Broken Tunnels. The shortest route towards the theater lies through a system of underground tunnels. The fastest way to traverse those is a ride on a high-speed trolley with highly reliable electronics, hopefully avoiding any conflict. Yeah, we're not avoiding any conflict. And once again, pick the character. We're gonna pick this dude because his machine gun is... Yeah, each of these characters have different guns and different abilities. I'm using the guy with the machine gun because machine guns. Uh, I'm assuming we slap you in there. First circuit breaker is installed. Two more are required. Yeah, even this, like you see it like, kind of bouncing a little bit. You can see this is kind of, I, w I don't want to say early VR, but this is a point where VR was kind of picking up. And granted, VR only really came out publicly, like, this in 2016. So two years later, this is what we got. Since then, though, games have picked up very well, like, very quickly. Battery charge is at 25%. Battery charge is at 50%. Okay, so we can't go there. Battery at 75%. Can't do anything with that. Battery I mean, seeing those latches tells me that we're supposed to do something with this, but I don't think so. Battery is fully charged. Freight train is gaining speed. Okay, cool. Let's do it. We're moving, we're trucking, we're going. And I see the dead. Oh, I see a robot. Oh crap. Oh, there's a little subway buddies. So we do fight robots in this. I thought it was just zombies for some reason. Yeah, and here's the robots that we've been seeing in the trailers. And that's a fat guy with a grenade or explosive barrel or whatever. And there's another one. Come on, reload, reload. Yeah, this mission doesn't have a whole lot to it. It's just, they come from one side, they come from the other side. Just grab your ammo and just keep shooting. I just hate how long the reload takes. Oh! 
There we go, we're spicing it up a little bit. They're coming from the sides now, too. Well, poop. Don't think I didn't know you were there. I knew you were coming. I was gonna say, am I being attacked? But yeah, here's our little robot friends from the trailer. Okay, not gonna lie, I was just doing that for more of a thumbnail. Maybe that'd be appropriate. Oh. Huh. Okay. Now this game did have online. You, you were able to do multiplayer. You know if online servers were still active and you were able to play online, but... I don't know if I would attempt to do so since this game has been long abandoned, so God only knows if you'd be opening yourself up to any darker ports of the internet. Did I say ports? I meant parts. I don't know why I said ports. Okay. I'm getting spanked and I don't like it. I do not consent. There's a bunch of ammo down there. Right, I need to go grab it. Oh, right. That's how it works. Okay. Right. You shake the controller when it's in the middle of a reload at certain points, and it'll uh, full reload the gun. Come on. Can't do it. I will admit that the little saw blade robots are actually kind of cute. Okay. Clearly the shaking controller mechanic works when it wants to. Not when it needs to. What? Excuse you? Uh, here they come again. I mean, on the bright side, I have more space to play with. Let's dip over here, grab that real quick. Crap, crap, crap. Bro, can this little saw blade dude, like, screw off? Please? Yeah, see, when it wanted me to reload in the beginning of this, I thought what it meant was a general reload. Like, oh yeah, if you want to just reload your gun, you just shake. I didn't realize that what it wanted me to do was reload at a certain point. Man, this dude is deep. Oh my god, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are 
Are we there yet? We're there. And then finally, mission four, theater. This facility, looking more like another storage than a theater, offers a series of tests for the visitors, allowing them to move the machines around, manipulating the ray of light in a special way. So, I just want to point out something. So this is the dude we're gonna be fighting. It, those guys look familiar from any trailers from Munfish that seem familiar at all? Yeah. Oh, and then also those little bulbs on his body, those are his nipples. All right, let's go ahead and get right into it. Here we go. Uh, right, how do we do this again? Oh, yeah. All auditorium personnel prepared for the mechanical actor synchronization process. Final rehearsal is commencing in five, four, three, two, one. I might be doing this completely wrong. It's something to do with their heads. It's a puzzle. I'm just trying to remember where it needs to go. Does it need to go to that dude? Where'd he go? Oh, no, I'm doing this right. Okay. Crap, crap, crappity crap. Now for the most part our fighting area is just here. This this kind of circular area. Now, for the most part, the zombies really don't do that much damage, so I'm not too worried about kind of hanging out in one spot. Rule of thumb with most zombie games, you want to keep moving, but in this case, jumping around a little bit ain't going to kill you. Or, I'm sorry, staying in one spot isn't going to kill you. Just every now and then you might want to move. At the very least for ammo. Hey, if any of you speak Russian, what does that say? Anybody have any ideas? Cause I don't. Or what, what, what does that thing say, if you can see it that well? I don't know if you can see it. Essentially using the time thingy as like a shield in a way. So when they get if I feel like they're gonna get too close to me or I don't know where they are, I just kind of throw that up. Now if you guys are interested in playing this game, I'm sorry to tell you, but this was removed from Steam. You cannot buy this on Steam anymore. The developer has brought it down. Why? I have no idea. Um I do remember there was a thing from that looked from the developers. Where I even uh, kind of fell for it. Thankfully, I didn't get hit with anything, but I remember there was a... Probably still on their page, to be honest with you. I gotta look at the store page for this game. But there was a thing where they're like, Hey, you want to get a copy of Atomic Heart for free? Go ahead to this link. Oh.
I don't think I can hurt it with my gun. Yeah, yeah it keeps shooting its nipple shots at me. Or the, the machine gun rounds that it's shooting from its nipples, I just need to shoot back at it. This is literally the whole boss. Like, it's cool, don't get me wrong. It's an interesting boss, but... I don't know, I feel like this needs more. Like, it's just missing something. Maybe, like, you know, when it goes down to just, like, heal itself or something. You have to try to stop it from repairing while a horde of zombies is coming after. You know what I mean? Like, there's something else. Not just shooting its projectile nipple thingies from, yeah. I noticed that there are more of these mirror things lying around. I think that's for if I dip to four players, then, you know. But yeah, originally this game was, I think, 18 to 20 bucks. I got it for 15. And, uh, yeah, they've, they've stopped supporting this game. Why? I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with that, like, virus that got on here. Like I said, there was a link that was like, hey, get a copy of the game for free, and if you followed it, um, then, you know, I think it was a way to steal your account. But the thing is that the game, you know, I mean, it can't, it was, if I remember correctly, it was right on the developer page for this game, I mean, specifically. I gotta look. If I, 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 I might put on the comment section, not in the comment section. I might put in the, um, oh my god, oh my god, okay. I might put in the description specifically what I'm talking about. There was a thing, and I don't know what happened with it. Um, I'm also focusing on not dying, so that's why my, my thought process is kind of blurred at the moment. I mean, in the end of the day, this boss is still kind of cool. It's just lacking. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Do you guys remember the arcade? There's an old arcade game that's making me think of. Current Evil. For some reason, this boss reminds me of that. Hey, you're not smiling anymore. Oh. So we beat the whole game in about 30 minutes, about 40 minutes. So yeah, that's literally Soviet Lona Park. That's it. That's that's the game. Now, before this game got canned, we had this. Story levels coming soon. Never came. Ne never never showed up. They never did anything with it. This was probably the last thing that they added. And here you go. This is survival. Can you buy the door? No, you can't even buy the doors. So it's not even like they took inspiration from Call of Duty or anything. So yeah, this is... This is it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have for for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, there's not going to be any more of this game, this specific game. Because it got canned off Steam and there haven't been updates in the last... Two, four years now, I'd say. So, nevertheless, I'm still intrigued by Atomic Heart, and I wonder what the developers have in store for us when that game finally does release. Because essentially, this was their showcase for the game, right? This is what got people... Th this was the start of it, you know what I mean? This is what started Atomic Heart. So we'll see what happens going forward.
But anyway, ladies and gents, I will see you around the next one. As always, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my nonsense and my ramblings, please feel free to leave some kind of activity on this video as it helps out tremendously with the algorithm. And it keeps the channel alive and well within the YouTube algorithm, despite its ever-growing difficulties with Comrade Susan and her new TOS. But, nevertheless, the channel survives thanks to the lads like you. So any activity you leave it helps out tremendously, and I really do appreciate the help as you guys bring it. I love you guys all. Hope you all have a fantastic night. I will see you around the next one. If you want to come hang out with me and talk about games, especially if you want to talk about games like this, please feel free to join our Discord. Link in the description below for our Discord. I'll see you around. Thank you, everyone. Have a fantastic night, everybody.